Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. Team of the Year is now in full swing, but we're a little disappointed, I think, after yesterday's content, seeing the pack weight on some of these cards and the SBC content that we got, or maybe the lack thereof. We're all opening upgrade packs, but we feel like we have no place to put some cards that we're getting in these packs because there's just not quite enough content in some specific areas. But what I want to do today is take a look at this game, take a look at some of the leaks, because could that turn around a little bit? Does EA have something up their sleeve for later this weekend to maybe make Team of the Year hype push up a little bit? And again, I realize a lot of the hype around Team of the Year really does depend on if you pack a Team of the Year or a Team of the Year honorable mentions. But I think a lot of us can agree a lot of the honorable mentions this year are maybe just not as good. So we're going to look at all of what's going on in this game right now and especially the market because the market with this content being a bit lackluster is exploding. A lot of coins were able to be made yesterday by just buying cards that people wanted to go out and connect and link up to cards in this game like this Kimmich absolutely exploding right now in price as a lot of Bayern Munich links are up even with the Sadio Mane SBC being just okay. So we're going to take a look at that and hope for some better and bigger content today on Saturday. If you're excited for it, hit the thumbs up, subscribe if you're new. Let's talk about honorable mentions. Let's talk about team of the year because this is the team that we have in packs right now. And there are some big names in here, right? Valverde, really nice card. Vinny, nice card. Cancelo, really nice card. Kane had a really big agility balance boost. Probably one of the most usable Canes we'll ever see, right? Except for like an end of the year type card. But there's only 11 guys in packs. And I think based off of last year, we were expecting things to go a lot differently than they did. We even talked about it in yesterday's video, right? We, ex we expected these guys to have a high pack weight to be very cheap right out of the gate and they were really not I mean they aren't bad prices whatsoever but these guys in terms of pack weight are nowhere near the pack percentages that we had last year uh, and yes it could be due to only have 11 players in packs instead of last year having 15 so I'm not trying to complain too much in this whole video today and as we're talking through stuff but I'm just trying to look through the facts and one of the facts is the pack weight on these cards and the player selection in terms of not just the selection, but the stat boost that the cards were given is just a little bit lackluster, right? We have 100,000 coin. Actually, we don't have any 100K packs, like real 100K packs right now. But from this Elite Players Plus pack, which is 26 gold rares, one guaranteed to be 86 plus, your Team of the Year Honorable Mentions pack weight is 7.1%. This is a way better pack than a 100K pack. Gives you more players and you have an 86 plus guaranteed. And this only gives you a 7% chance of packing an honorable mentions player. Last year, we looked at it in yesterday's video, in a 100K pack, just a regular 100K, you had a chance of 9%, 9.4%, I believe it was, to pack an honorable mentions. So that's why I think most people are a little bit disappointed because even the team of the year pack weight seemed to have dropped yesterday. And that's partially why you see prices just continuing to rise because People are still opening packs because they have packs saved up or they're opening lightning rounds because it's team of the year. But a lot of these cards, they just, they just, you know, they're not that amazing. And people are going back out on the market and buying other cards. And with those new coins that they have from opening packs, prices just keep going up, right? Because when so many lightning rounds are open, like we talk about, a lot of coins enter the market. And especially on days where there's saved up packs, a lot of coins enter the market. And that's why a lot of these cards and a lot of team of the years, like if we take a look at the actual team of the year squad, we were expecting team of the year prices to drop yesterday on Friday, right? And Benzema's 2.3, Messi is still 5 mil, Mbappe is 10 mil. Some of these cards went low for like the first little bit and then kept going up in price. Teo is 1.3, Militao is up 100k, Jude Bellingham had a really big spike once again. And this is all just completely unexpected because um, it's just like the pack weight was really turned down yesterday. And I guess uh, maybe some people are really saving packs for Sunday still as well because the team of the year icons are out of packs. But you know, with all the lining rounds that are going on and saved up packs that people are used to opening when they see the team of the year honorable mentions coming in, um, you know, it's just like people are going out and buying cards and people are still opening packs. And I think the reason you see prices going up so much on the market is because the content's just a little bit 
lackluster. So I think that's where biggest disappointments are is uh, that these cards are really, really hard to pack and they shouldn't be easy to pack because it's team of the year, right? These are some really, really high rated cards. I feel like the honorable mentions though should have been easier to pack and unfortunately they're not yet. Hopefully we have a mini release of these guys coming up on Sunday or maybe even today on Saturday. Hopefully we get a couple more leaks because it would be nice to have a couple more honorable mentions cards added to the game and uh, not just SBC and objective content, but more packs content as well. So I think that's the feeling right now in terms of the content in packs is just, yeah, these cards are nice, uh, but they're not like out of this world really crazy good. Like the honorable mentions last year were and the pack weight is a big part of that, I do believe. Now, I think these guys will probably drop off and, uh, you know, the late Friday night time frame rising up into Saturday, since they are still team of the year type items, these cards are still hyped, right? Davies is not that much different from his stories card, but Fede Valverde, his price has been fluctuating around all day. Harry Kane's card has been fluctuating around all day. Like we said in yesterday's video, I expected these guys to be their cheapest day one. That's out the window now. This is completely different. Um, I would not be holding on to these guys too much because I do think they will get packed more especially with what we talked about with Sunday being a big day for packs because team of the year icons are no longer in packs and a lot of them are flying in price because they're no longer in packs, right? Gerd Muller's 1.6 million coins uh, as a lot of these team of the year icons are rising up just from rarity, right? Makalili, almost 900. Um, Zanetti is 1.1. He's been around there. Vanderstar, 700K. Pires is 880, almost 900,000 coins. These guys are really rare. I would be very careful if you own these guys. Today on Saturday might be a good day to kind of take the cash as the market is up because there will probably be a little bit of panic on these as they're coming back into packs and on, on Sunday as expected, and as people will be opening a lot of their saved packs then. So I know we said the same thing about team of the year cards. I'm not expecting crazy massive drops on these guys because the market's doing very, very well right now. Um, but I think there will be a few drops as we head into later this weekend, specifically tomorrow on Saturday. So that's kind of the impacts. We'll talk about market a little bit more uh, in the video as well, but let's talk about SBCs. Why is there disappointment in SBCs? Well, yesterday we had the Sadio Mane flashback, which was just a simple plus one over his ones to watch card. Now, I think the price on this is a dub. The price on this is a W, nice card design, nice dynamic. Um, it's just you know, it's not amazing, right? And that's how all of the flashbacks have been so far. We even have more flashback leaks to look at today. We just got a brand new one. Uh, as I'm about to record this video, we got one. But this Mane card, yes, it's cool. Yes, it's a big name player, kind of like Ramos, kind of like Pogba. And the price is right around that same area as well. 550, 600,000 coins. But over the ones to watch, it's literally just plus one stats on the face card. And then basically plus one everywhere. It's a, it's a legit plus one through and through of his ones to watch card. So that's what's a little bit unfortunate for me. But since so many of us are doing upgrade packs, we are doing all of these SBCs and you know we're putting our fodder into these because we have nowhere else to put them, right? And I think that's where EA needs to step it up. And that's where also for all of us opening upgrade packs, where we are feeling like the content is a bit lackluster because you know we're getting all these 82s and these 83s. Like right now in my um, unassigned, I've got duplicate 82s and 83s. And I'm like, where am I putting these guys? What SBCs am I putting these guys into? I've already done all the 82 and 83 rated squads. There's not something out right now that is like a low tier squad, like an 82 or an 83 or an 84 rated squad that we can do on repeat. Like even if they made, uh, I know there's the uh, 83 or the 85 plus defenders pack, right? I already did that and completed that SBC, but you can only do it one time, right? If we had this 85 times three upgrade, or maybe even just like an 83 times three upgrade, like three times a day, or if this 83 plus double was repeatable, like three or four times a day, we need something along those lines so that we're not just feeling like we're stuck with all this low tier fodder and not very many places to put it in. I also feel like a lot of people would really love an icon pack. And that's what made last year great during team of the year as well is because we had icon player picks. I think we had hero player picks as well that we could go and craft. And that feels like, you know, it's fun, right? Because it gives you another kind of gamble pack to rinse into. You can only go so far when you're opening a lot of packs with all the fodder that you get in these player SBCs because you're eventually going to run out of player SBCs to do when it's a repeatable icon player pick or something along those lines, you can keep putting fodder into those. So I do believe we're going to get an icon player pick or a hero player pick at some point. It's just not here yet. That's kind of what we need to make this team of the year content and just our enjoyment of the menus 
kind of go to the next level. Now, not everything is bad because in objectives yesterday, I think the best content of the day was in objectives. And I first want to talk about the honorable mentions Otamendi. Nice card, very easy to do. Squad battles or rivals, win five matches, score and assist some goals. Big W for EA Sports here. And even a couple okay packs in there as well. That's a very nice objective. Nice link to the Enzo Fernandez if you still use that. Argentina links as well. GG's to EA for that one. Not much else to say. And then also a Team of the Year Cup. It's always nice to get a cup. And the end pack that you get here is that Foot 23 Position Players Pack, which is the exact same pack that you get at level 30 of Season Progress, which is, um, I think it's like three attackers, three midfielders, and five defenders, including one goalkeeper. It's basically like, hey, we're going to give you a pack with all the different positions in a squad so you can try to pack a team of the year type of thing. You get some 83 doubles in here, 83, three, 83 times three midfielders, attackers, and defenders as well. And this cup mode, uh, I looked at it at the start of the stream yesterday. It's five, it's five matches a day, and it refreshes every single day. So you use a team of the year player as well. That's kind of cool that they're incorporating the promo, and you have to use a team of the year player. If you don't know where you can get a team of the year player on loan, there is a team of the year SBC Team of the Year Trial, I think is what it's called. You can go in here. It's an 84 rated squad. So if you're struggling where to put 84s as well, you can go in here and do that SBC and get yourself a Team of the Year on loan. I think it's either a pack or a player pick. Yeah, it's a pack. So you get a seven match loan. Then you can use that card in friendlies. And of course, friendlies don't count for games. So you'll have that Team of the Year on loan. So that's nice at least. That was honestly one of the biggest Ws of content yesterday. And I know the view of all of this right now and the view of how W or L you think Team of the Year is, is, is very subjective to how your pack weight has gone, right? Because obviously a lot of you guys have packed Team of the Years. Um, and I'm not in that boat yet. I have not yet been able to pack a Team of the Year. And I know a lot of people are complaining about the pack weight. They're complaining that it's like worse than last year, which I definitely think that it is worse than last year, which is so interesting with the way the market is this year, uh, that EA would want to do that or is that it even is that way. It seems like pack weight this whole entire year, you look at someone like Gold Cristiano Ronaldo or just the prices of the market this entire year have been a lot lower than in years past. It's interesting uh, that the pack weight is so low, but pack weight's going to fluctuate, right? And if, like myself, I'm trying to just be positive about this, that I've got so many more packs to open, but I'm not getting too down on my team of the year pack luck uh, odds yet, right? Because we still have six days, guys, right? Team of the years, team of the year honorable mentions, we still have six days to try to pack these guys. And, um, you know, there's time and there's time to craft upgrades. There's time to do other SBCs to get packs, to hopefully pack some of these cards. But it definitely seems like it is not easy like it was last year or easier to pack team of the years. It seems like the weight was maybe better on Thursday than it was yesterday on Friday. So hopefully today on Saturday into the weekend, the weight maybe picks back up just a little bit. Uh, we'll have to see if that is truthful at all. Now, let's talk about today on Saturday. Let's talk about content and the market because not only are we getting more flashback SBCs, we still have a lot of SBCs that are leaked and hopefully today could bring us some more content that could spice some things up. And potentially, I think there's a fodder investment we might be able to make as well as we get more content. Uh, and I want to look at a couple of leaks already for like the next promo because we talked about that yesterday, but there's even more news about it. First one is this. This is the fresh hot off the press leak. Jorginho is added to come via Team of the Year Flashback SBC. Now, those stats don't look that amazing, and that looks kind of mid, right? But again, you just kind of have to think, how have all the flashbacks been in the past week, right? Mane, Ramos, and Pogba have been all usable and doable, big names, and they've given them good enough stats to be, you know, like doable, right? So I think this Jorginho would hopefully have a bit better stats than this, hopefully like 85 pace maybe. Maybe it would make him club 80, uh, hold a gang with 90 plus passing, maybe even 90 dribbling. So that's a nice Premier League flashback. Again, um, EA Sports, give it a good price. Uh, drop this SBC on maybe Sunday. I mean, I, I don't know that this would be today on Saturday, right? Two days in a row of flashbacks. Last week, we had a flashback on Friday with Ramos. And then I think Pogba dropped on Tuesday, right? So I wouldn't expect this Jorginho today at all. Probably in the next couple of days, anytime between Sunday and Tuesday would make sense for me with this card. Watch your Chelsea links. Of course, we've got the team of the year honorable mentions, um, Koulibaly that is in the team. A lot of other Chelsea links. It seems like there's some Premier League push maybe just a little bit right Premier League pushing the hype with some of the leaked SBCs of course we have the Jorginho we also have the Richarlison that is leaked as well and this has been leaked for a, a minute it's been leaked for a hot minute actually like a couple days now 
I would wonder if this would be part of our SBC content today on Saturday, since it's one of the most longest outstanding leaks. We will have to see if that's the case. I do believe we'll get a player SBC today. Last week on Saturday, I believe we had Hugo Sanchez. No, that's not true. I think we had Hugo Sanchez on Sunday. So I do believe we'll get a player SBC today. Um, I just don't know if it's going to be Richarlison. I don't know if it'll be uh, Jabi Alonso either, right? This is a leaked team of the year icon SBC. Uh, I, I think it was Sunday last week for the um, the Sanchez SBC. So maybe uh, this would be dropping today or tomorrow as well. Maybe tomorrow with the drop of Team of the Year Icons back in packs. So definitely keep an eye out for that. That's an SBC that is leaked to come. And then, of course, we do have a new Team of the Year moments that was leaked yesterday. Jutgla from Club Bruges. Um, interesting links for sure. And probably going to be an SBC that's really, really cheap. So we're asking for SBCs that we can put our 83s and 82s into. Hopefully this one that is like one squad or two squads like 83 84 rated something really cheap like that um that one just kind of seems to not fit the team of the year vibe in total but hey it is what it is um and maybe that has something to do with like future stars because i do believe this Jutka card is um he's pretty young he's like a 23 years old uh, i never have heard of this guy before but uh, evidently he used to play for the barcelona academy or the barca b team um and that's where people kind of know this guy from so um, maybe that has something to do with our next upcoming promo. And then of course we do have the Fofana objective that is still leaked as well. And since EA don't like to give us just like a couple days to do objectives, this might be a part of our content today as well. So watch out for yet another player objective in there to grind. That would be very nice uh, if they dropped that as well. Now, speaking of the next promo, we have a couple more leaks. Foot Sheriff tweeted about future stars and it seems crazy because we're inside of team of the year like nate trying to pack blues but we're talking about the next promo already future stars he confirmed is coming february 3rd this isn't like you know crazy news that was like not expected we always expect future stars right after team of the year and we know that a swaps token system is coming because we've seen the pack code even more pack code was dropped yesterday about swaps tokens for future stars he said it's going to be two teams and uh, yeah, this is coming for sure because the pack code that we saw yesterday, they added a New Year cheer pack. Now, that might ring a bell because there's a New Year's pack that's in the store right now. That's the 500K pack, but this one is different and it contains a Future Stars swap token. The only thing I think about this is we might be getting this pack before Team of the Year actually ends. And uh, this might be a pack that kind of gets us started on the Future Star swaps program early i think they did that with winter wild cards as well as they actually start the swaps program before the promo even begins and that would make sense because the week this next week upcoming is probably going to be besides a couple player spcs and you know we'll have an icon spc out everybody will be grinding packs it's probably going to be a bit quieter in terms of content probably not going to be that insane apart from a couple spcs right i mean the big hype of team of the year and opening all the packs that's this weekend and after that it's probably going to slow down a bit before future stars so this could be something that we maybe even see here in the next couple of days right that's the new year cheer pack that is in the pack code this is the new year special pack that is still here through today into tomorrow on sunday so this might on sunday be replaced by the new year's cheer pack another 500k pack where ia would try to sell some fever points and get some money and then also drop a pretty big pack so that's kind of what to watch out for and look out for with future stars swaps and uh guys with this market as well i, I know we have some pretty pretty high and pretty crazy prices right erling holland his team of the year card i just saw it bounce back in price he was 4.5 mil he is now back to 5 mil probably going to drop down these guys' prices are going to stay high because right now there's nothing to really bring them down, right? Um, and even as we head into tomorrow on Sunday, maybe we'll see a little bit of panic on these. But really, I feel like these cards are going to fluctuate pretty nice and they'll be pretty decent to trade with. Um, the, the honorable mentions, that is. The team of the years are going to stay high, right? Because that was the... One of the biggest things people were looking out for yesterday on the game was when do I buy these team of the years? When can I get involved and um, put them in my team? I think Vinny is bouncing right now too. Wow. Uh, Vinny Jr. just bounced. Is Are there any on the market? Where'd this guy go, man? Wow. He just went from 2 million coins up to 2.5 mil. So some of the top tier guys like Valverde and Vinny um, are, are really, really rare, right? Um, I'm trying to trade with Kane a little bit. That's worked out well for me. Uh, but a lot of the lower tier cards, they're really, really supplied. Even though the pack weight's kind of low, people are still opening a lot of packs. So they are pretty supplied. 
I think the market's going to be pretty safe this weekend. The only thing that I would be a little bit worried about would be Sunday with your team of the year icons and maybe your team of the years just a little bit on Sunday, right? I know it's really tough because a lot of people were hoping to see price drop offs to buy some of these team of the years for their team. But now you see Akimi still at 1.8 mil, knowing that he was one point on Thursday, like 1.6 million coins. It's tough to see these cards going up so high in price. But I can honestly tell you guys this we did not have, like, you know, these cards never really got that low. So I don't think the team of the years, as the way that it looks right now, are going to do very well out of packs. I feel like these cards are going to end up reaching their highest point this week and kind of how it is in the past years of FIFA as well. Like last year, none of these guys really rose out of packs. A lot of them stayed around the same price for like maybe a couple weeks, but especially with future stars coming up and some pretty big content and some pretty big cards that could be released then, I do imagine that some of these cards will, will end up dropping down in price. A couple of them uh, will maybe keep rising after team of the year, but um, maybe tomorrow on Sunday will be an opportunity where we can get these guys at a little bit lower prices again. But of course, it's nobody expected this, guys. Really, nobody expected this to happen because the way the market was last year, the way it was uh, with the cards getting lower on Friday than they were at any time when, honestly, Messi's cheapest price was when he was first in packs with just the attackers, right? Look at his price. He was three, 3 million coins on the first day. It doesn't show here in the flipping graph, but actually it would. We can go all the way, all the way back now with this 14-day thing. Uh, he was down at 3.9 and he's just been slowly rising uh, since that day. He's been a very, very high price with a couple of fluctuations in between. So it's just nuts to see some of this uh, because it's not at all what we expected. But I think it just comes down to the pack weight. And still, this is, I know we're four or five months into the game now, but this is a new market that we're still learning things about because this is the first year of a cross console market and that again is something that we have to remember we're experiencing and we have not ever seen this before and this is kind of new to us so some of the new things we've learned this year definitely you can chalk that up to being in the cross console market a lot more demand for some players at specific times right now that's probably making those team of the year cards being uh have a little bit higher price uh than before now i said i mentioned an investment right i do believe there is a good investment opportunity upcoming and i think we got to take a look at it right now and that is sbc fodder if you stuck around for the end of the video big w because yes we've been talking about what do we do with these leftover 82s 83s and 84s but i think 84s at this price right here is pretty crazy i know we're hoping for ea to drop some more sbcs i think they will end up delivering some maybe not just yet but 84s to 86s I'm a big fan of because they dropped off a lot yesterday. And we know that 84s were really crazy high earlier in the week. I mean, these guys were about 5,000 coins. Now they're down in the 2K range. Like this is, we're talking really, really, really low prices for 84s right now. So with the lightning round still going on, I think maybe Friday night into Saturday, whenever you're watching this video, whatever time it is for you, I think this is probably getting close to the buy time on fodder because even as early as today on Saturday, EA could start releasing SBCs, like maybe an 85 plus midfielder pack is out today that requires some more 84s or another one of those packs type of thing. I think you're going to see less supply on the market today as well. The only thing that makes me a little bit leery on fodder is the Sunday supply and the saved up packs that are incoming then. But if we get an SBC today, some sort of gamble pack, like an icon player pick or anything even, these guys could start to go up. So 84s, 86s look good. High tier fodder, keep holding it. 91s, if you got these at like 60K or lower. Lower. last week i'd keep holding these because half these guys are out of packs and there's still big boy sbcs out there that people are crafting as they're opening upgrade packs and then a quick check on the gold rares right we talk about fodder we got to look at these guys because of course so many people are doing upgrades right now gold rares they're cheap they are very cheap wow and i think this is partially some of the demotivation of people doing upgrade packs but 750 to build uh upgrade packs right now get it while it's good because those are definitely going to go up um, especially if people start packing some team of the years again and uh, the pack weight seems to turn up just a little bit. I think you will see those gold rares start to rise after this weekend, after Sunday for sure, um, as people are going and doing upgrade packs during the week. So that's kind of the video for me today, guys. But let me know down in the comments what you think. How are you liking team of the year? How does this content seem to you? I mean, we were all excited for yesterday and I think we just left the promo day yesterday feeling like, Mm, disappointed, right? That's the best word to describe it. But hopefully EA reconciles some things and give us some good content in this coming week. So if you enjoyed the video today, smash the thumbs up on it, comment down below if you have any questions, and subscribe if you're new. 
It's been Nathan Foot Account, and I'll catch you guys later. Peace. Out.